AI is kind of the elephant in the room right now. All across all industries, the men in suits at the top are scheming ways to fire real workers and replace them with AI. Nowhere is this more controversial than the games industry, since it turns out that there are some pretty easy ways to use AI to simplify tasks that currently take a whole team of developers. I recently did a video where I talked about how the CEO of EA mentioned that 60% of the processes that go into game development could be replaced by AI. It turns out another big development company seems to think that EA is wrong, that AI could never replace devs when it comes to certain tasks, like anything creative. That's right, the director of Baldur's Gate 3, who works for Larian Studios, Sven Vinky, shared his views on AI and how it will affect the industry in an interview recently. So let's take a look at what he had to say and how it compares to the grim future that EA's CEO talked about. It seems like there's a fundamental difference in how EA is supposedly planning to approach AI and how how Larian Studios is. Rather than focusing on replacing people in positions that could be at least somewhat replaced by generative AI, Larian is actually hiring more. Sven seems to believe that there is a place for AI, but that place isn't necessarily in the fundamental creative process. He's not opposed to it helping with productivity, but creativity belongs to people. He said this in his interview with IGN, reported by Games Radar. So my stance on AI is really straightforward. It is a tool that we use to help us do things faster. Faster. We have so much work that we're happy to take assistance from anything. I don't think it'll ever replace a creative side of things. And I could put money where my mouth is, he continues. What Vinky means by this, as revealed in the interview, is that instead of relying on AI tools like Midjourney, which can conjure up images using prompts in seconds, Larian has hired 15 more concept artists to keep this part of the process more streamlined. The pipeline bottleneck in the past was that we don't have the concept art coming fast enough, so the creatures are not made fast enough. So the technical animators can't rig it fast enough, so the animators can't do the monster fast enough, so they run out of work. Which is really the worst thing we want in a development environment, the developer continues. So that's how we solve that. So it seems that in a time when the more corporate companies in the space are all trying their hardest to embrace and embed AI into all of their processes, Larian Studios doesn't think that's a good idea. Rather than taking the effort to unclog bottlenecks in their process with generative AI, they've just hired more people. Which is, in my opinion, probably a much safer and better way to go than embracing AI, at least for now. The fact is that AI can be incredibly useful, and that it's something that could save companies a boatload of money if implemented in a safe and reliable way. And that works for big faceless corporations, ones who already don't have a great reputation with gamers, but smaller studios like Larian Studios, who despite being a weirdly hard to classify company that doesn't quite feel like a AAA company, but at the same time produced the biggest hit game of last year, have a lot more to lose when it comes to AI and games. One of the things that doesn't get brought up in the boardrooms much, because it's inconvenient, is that there is a stigma around using AI in games, especially generative AI. While there are a lot of gamers who really won't care if the game is good, there's also a lot of gamers who absolutely despise the replacement of real people with robots, a loud minority of people who not only won't play your game if it used AI in the development, but will be sure to tweet out 90 different tweets about it and how awful it is. That kind of thing doesn't hurt a big company like EA, but a company that's garnered as much goodwill as Larian Studios, I think that for them it's too much of a risk to their brand, and it comes with the benefit of actually hiring people in a field that's not doing so hot recently. But despite being wary of AI, Sven did say that he could foresee a use case for it. While he's careful to mention that they're hiring more human writers rather than using AI like ChatGPT to write their scripts for games, it's possible that generative AI could be fairly useful in an RPG. We're hiring writers, so we're not having ChatGPT write their dialogues, Vinky says. Before adding that he does, however, see a usage of generative AI. Further elaborating on this, the director says, I think you can have reactive games, and that's where it can have a place. So you can complement what's there already. So that's the thing that we should be exploring because it's how we'll make better RPGs. Which I think is actually a really good use case. Of course, having the writers write all the important lore and dialogue, but wouldn't it be more immersive if the people in your game could actually respond to something that the player does or says offhand? Like if you ask a question to an NPC, but it's not a question that the devs programmed in, by giving the information about what it's allowed to say to a generative AI prompt, a large language model could give a fairly realistic response to a player in a way that helps immerse people into game worlds. That being said, large language model AIs have a tendency to hallucinate, so who knows how realistic that kind of thing is, at least in the next few years. I think that for the most part, games will need to be staffed by writers who can actually make something impactful, not the useful but slightly uncanny type of thing you get out of an AI most of the time. And Sven agrees with me. 
saying, I buy more, that there's going to be something that's crafted, and then you'll have AI that plugs into it to augment it. And it should be done in such a way that it's invisible, so you don't know that it's shifting around. So I think that's the thing of the future. Basically reiterating that AI is going to eventually become a really useful tool, but he doesn't see it becoming more than that. Compared that to the EA CEO, who said that EA could impact 60% of processes, and seem to imply that it could replace a lot of people, I don't think that either one of them is actually wrong. The EA CEO is right. AI can be used to replace a lot of people's jobs in game development, even today, let alone in a few years with all the investment in the space. But I think Sven and Larian's approach to using it as a tool rather than a replacement will probably result in more impactful games, even if they have to pay a bit more to employ actual living people. It will be something that you can feel in a game. We're not at a point yet where something entirely created by AI will be the same as something made by a person, though I do wonder how fast we will get there. What do you guys think? Do you think that AI is going to replace people or do you see it more as a tool? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching all the way till the end. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great day and God bless you.